Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team. Today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set that's in the July to December mini catalog. It is here on page 38, Get Yeti to Party. Well, it's called Yeti to Party. And it says, Get Yeti to Party, it's your birthday. Is it Christmas Yeti? Winter wishes and holiday hugs. It's super cute. I have wanted to play with it ever since I saw the images the first time. So fun. But we just had Stampin' Up! came out with some new die sets that coordinate with some different stamp sets. So the Yeti is one of them. So now we have some Yeti dies that coordinate with the Yeti to Party stamp set. So I'm super excited for that. I've been playing with it and I love it. And there's a ton of other stamp sets that have dies that coordinate now. So go check those out. They are available through September. So this is what this stamp set and dies look like. So Yeti to party and then Yeti dies. There's 18 dies in here. So we have one that cuts out the Yeti, a heart, one that cuts out the banner here and then all of the little images and you also have a little scarf and super cute, super fun. So I wanna show you some of the ideas that I've come up with using this stamp set and dies. So I'm gonna start with some of the winter ones because I feel like that's kind of what you um, expect to see from a Yeti stamp is like a wintry card. So I've done some up like that. You can see all these cute mountains with their snow caps. Winter wishes. You can see on this Yeti, I colored him with Wink Estella, so he's a little shimmery. Winter wishes and holiday hugs. Here's one I did without a Yeti, just with the mountains. And then one where I added that cute little Yeti. But I wanted to take this stamp set and make it a little more versatile so that you could use it all year long rather than just during the winter time because I think that Yeti is super cute. So I wanted to show you some ideas that I came up with using more on the birthday side and not so much winter or Christmassy. So I'm gonna stamp a card with you and, and show you what I did. So I have already stamped some things down here. You can see some presents. I stamped a little banner and of course the Yeti and then my saying, get Yeti to party. And then I'm gonna cut out a few things using these cool dies. So the banner and my Yeti and then I'm gonna cut out two hearts from this cute little heart set, heart die. So cute. Okay, and I've already done that just to save a little time. So this is what I have. I'm gonna use some blends um, to color these and then I wanna show you another little technique that I'm gonna use to make a cute little skirt for our Yeti because this, I don't know if you can tell, but this is going to be a girl birthday card. So. I, she needs a skirt. We need to turn her into a little girl. Okay, so I'm going to first start with my light smoky slate blend and I'm just going to kind of go around my Yeti and just almost like shadow kind of around the edges of my Yeti. I think typically Yetis are white so I don't want to color the entire thing. You could if you want. I, you could have a gray Yeti or a pink Yeti, whatever color you really want, but I'm just gonna give it just a little bit of gray. And then to make sure she's a girl, I'll add in pink. Now boys can wear pink too. There's nothing wrong with that, but just around the face here, we'll give her some pink highlights, okay? And then I'm also going to color her horns pink and her little tongue dark. Okay, just like that. Now I'm also going to color my banner. We're gonna color that pink and I'm just going, I'm not really gonna blend this. I'm just gonna go every other one with my light and dark. 
add some cute color there, just like that. And then I'm gonna color my presents. Now, the cool thing about blends is that you can use the light and the dark together, like this. I'll do a little bit in the dark and then come in with the light and blend it all out. And it gives it a cool blended look. You can even do it on the bows here, just like that. Or you can use just the light color. Did you know you can blend with just one of the colors? The more you go over that color, even with the same color, the darker it's gonna get. And then you can just blend out with the light. So you still get that like gradient there. And you can do the same with the dark. So you really can give yourself three different looking presents with just the two light and dark colors. We'll do this bow dark too, just like that. Okay, okay, so that's all of the blending that I'm going to do. Now I have to show you how to make a cute skirt for your Yeti. So I'm going to use tear and tape and I'm just going to put a little strip of this right around where her waist should be. Just like this. And I'm gonna tear off enough where that can wrap around to the back. Just like that. So I have two little strips on the back. And I'm gonna press that down good and hard. Okay, so then we're just going to peel the wax off here. And I'm just gonna peel it to there so it doesn't stick on the back. And I'm gonna use this cute, it kinda looks like tutu-y like ribbon. And I'm just gonna wrap it around the back here to hold it in place. And then I'm just gonna kinda ruffle that ribbon. So you can see as I go, I just kind of fold it to make it look like she has a cute little ruffly tutu on. This is our open, re open weave um, ribbon. It comes in all of our newer in colors. So this is the polished pink one. It's so cute. And I think it's like a perfect, like little light and girly tutu ribbon. So then I'm just gonna pull the rest of that wax paper off and tuck that behind the card, just like that. And there she has her tutu. So we'll trim that. And there you go. So cute. Okay, so now let's put our card together. We are going to put our white piece just right on the top of here. I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal for that. And the dimensions of this card, this piece is three by three, this white piece, and I am just putting it on top of a five by three and three quarters piece of basic black. And then I'm gonna pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals and put it onto my card base, and that's polished pink and it's a five and a half by eight and a half card size. Just like that. And then before I forget, we have to cut out our Get Yeti to Party, It's Your Birthday. And I want it to kind of look like she's saying this, so I'm gonna cut it in one of those word bubbles. Sometimes I like to do this. I think it's a cute way of showing that they're actually saying that thought. And it's not hard just to cut that out in that shape, just like that. Okay, so we're gonna put our Yeti right here. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals and pop her up. Maybe one more, just like that. And then we'll pop up our Get Yeti to Party. Put that right at the top there. And then stick our banner on. So she's just holding the banner. 
that. And then let me show you this. These are going to be our two balloons like this. Let me bring in the finished card here. So you can see I just put some strings on there, put some little iridescent rhinestones, and you have some cute little heart balloons. So fun, so cute. I love the cute little tutu. It's just a cute girly, perfect for a birthday. Let me show you a few other birthday card ideas that I um, have come up with using this Yeti set um, and some trade ideas that we also got from other demonstrators. So here's one, Get Yeti to Party. I loved the, it's kind of the same layout and look, but this could be for any anybody. Super cute. Here's one that, this one has kind of a fun fold and that Yeti's just ready. He's ready, that Yeti's ready <laughs> to just give all his gifts. So fun. This is one we got as a trade. So cute, I love the little hat. So fun. And this one, look at that cute ice cream cone. So fun, and then I just stamped all the banners up and, up and down the side there. And she has a cute little tutu, a tutu too. <laughs> cute little tutu also. And then one more, and this one was also a trade and they stamped him on um, that fuzzy velvet paper. So cute. I have had so much fun playing with the Yeti set, the Yeti to party set. Um, and I love that you can use it for the winter or you can change it a little bit and use it for any time and it's a great birthday set. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products, we'll have the details in the description below. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.